Twin Cities Live. You know, brown has always taken a backseat to black, but this year I guess it's so. coming in hot as one of the top it colors of the season. Wow, move over black as here comes here. brown. So our next guest is here to show you how to wear this new trend and dare I say even mix brown and black together. Oh. So Amy Seaman, look at this. I, I mean, she I claims that she you claims did. that she did not do this intentionally. No, I was just trying to wear something Perfect. that I could fit that stupid jersey over. So yeah. I had to well, figure it out. Well, you know the out. old rules, you can't wear um, blue and black together, or yes. brown and black, or white and or cream. Or silver and gold, like mixing metals. Yes. That was always, are you either doing silver or gold? Yes. So are there any more rules or is there everything yes. just out the window? It's out the window. Good. It's what, is, what feels right to you is what is right. So what do you like about brown versus black? Like, I like the yeah. warmth of it for people. Yes, I think black can be a very harsh color. Right. And so I think that brown is a little bit softer and it looks richer. So especially in certain fabrics, it has more of a luxe look and feel to it, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's so many different shades of brown too, right? So if you think, oh, I can't wear brown. Well, my sweater has more copper tones to it, yeah. right? Where some is really more of a dark, dark chocolate brown. Some is a lighter tan. So there's so many, it's like, find your shade of brown. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't just and rule I, out brown. And I do feel like black seems like you're trying to hide something. You know, yeah. if you're wearing like yeah, sure. a black top or a black, you know, pants or whatever, it's like, you know, I just, I, I just don't even want to stand out. I just kind of like, just want to like yeah. just disappear, yeah. just wear something simple or and easy. Or you're trying to hide a giant Chipotle burrito that you ate. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um, also, I think with blacks, like when you're mixing blacks, you kind of have to get the tone right. You know, if it's just a little off, it looks off. Where with yeah. browns, when it's a little bit off, it actually looks more like that monochromatic tonal look that we love. Right. Mm. So it's easier to pair browns together than it is to pair blacks together. Let's see some models, shall we? Let's do it. All right, let's bring out Kate. Come on out, Kate. Oh, this is fun. This is a great transitional look because we're in this weird, like it's, it's cold in the morning, it's hot in the afternoon, and then it's cold again in the evening so I like this transitional look um, look at how rich this brown suede jacket looks as opposed to like a black leather this is where yeah. I'm saying like maybe swap it out from a black leather to this brown suede this I just got at Queenie and Pearl it's vintage it was only $55 right now these jackets in store are 300 plus so yeah. thrifting Whoa. for anything suede is so major savings. Nice. Good tip. And like, look at the back of this jacket. Like the details with this little oh. fringe right here. Like you're not gonna find that in store either. So no. I love that. And being um, brown, if it's black, you miss all those details. Yes, Everything just sort do. of blends in. Yep. That's true. Yep. And I think even like she's got the dark hair. I just think it works really well with her skin tone. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just put this like cute little um, corset on and the Bermuda shorts and heels. I mean, you could easily just swap out the heels for some flats if you're going right from the, you know, a fun brunch to well, and this is like a statement. Activities. So Amy, you know, Amy always like brings the statement and if you're yeah. like, oh, this is maybe I just need to go one step back, maybe yeah. it would just be swapping out or I bet you could do a black skirt over those boots if the shorts feel a little yeah. bit too like intense too. Yeah, or you could do a trouser pant or you could do a full denim and a little kitten heel or something. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely turn it up or turn down. But you know me, when I come on, I'm turning it up. I know you yeah, are. <laughs> that jacket is one of those things though, like 30 years ago it was in style, it's in style now, it's gonna be in style in 30 Don't get years. rid of it, yeah. don't get rid of it, hang on to it, pass it yeah. down. Thanks Kate, mm -hmm. Thanks, you look Kate. great. All right, let's bring out the second model. You got Song coming out and she's wearing like a really fun blazer. This time it's brown, but now with a pattern. Fun. Yes, and the leggings are brown. So if you are like a diehard black legging girl, swap it out for the brown. They're still dark, they still hide the sweat, you know, but it's just a little bit more elevated, I think. And then yes, we're pulling in the browns with the blazer. A blazer and leggings are like my fall uniform. It's just so easy to throw on and the hat keeps it really cool and kind of <laughs> effortless and the, snap, the sock with the sneaker. I mean, she's just a whole vibe. But it's you could wear fun. this look in your as a teenager, mm -hmm. right? and then we can wear it in our 40s plus. I totally think so. I think the blazer is so good mm -hmm. over the athleisure because yes. it just looks like it elevates it a little bit more. It does. It's just a little more pulled together and hip than doing like a hooded sweatshirt, yes. you know, or a zip up kind of a thing. Yes. Yep, so the underneath set is from Lululemon, and then this blazer is from H&M. I love H&M for blazers. They're $50, and the quality is actually really good. It's really yeah. good. But think of it, yeah, as a replacement to a sweatshirt or just any, like a denim jacket. Mm. Like, swap your denim jacket for a blazer this season. Yeah, right. and you fun it up by rolling the sleeves up, too. Yeah. It's just a mm -hmm. whole different energy and vibe if you if you have the sleeves, like, rolled down. You're like, you know, this is not a business deal. Not with right. this whole look. I'm yeah. going to roll the sleeves up a little bit. Exactly. Have Plus, some fun. she's petite, so it helps it from looking like she's, it gives that oversized look without being swallowed. In I it. like this look for travel too because yeah. you can travel in it you can wear it and still feel pulled together to go out to lunch or something yeah or you could do like a soft yoga where you're not going to sweat so much <laughs> <laughs> and then is that a thing yeah. i don't know yoga. a non-stop 
like shavasana <laughs> for like a solid 30 minutes. This is my master that's how class, I, master That's how I yoga. Yeah. Doing yeah. Something. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so great. much. All right, Jesse, you're, you're last, but certainly not least. <laughs> yeah, so Jesse's in the new LBD, so not the little black dress, the little brown dress. So this one is from Anthropology. I love this for so many reasons. One, this ruching and the texture on it alone, it's I think fun. gives it so much interest on just a basic silhouette. Mm -hmm. um, I also think that like, again, it's a little bit unexpected. We're going into wedding season, fall wedding season. This is perfect for that. A lot of people have galas. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you could also, because of the texture of it, you could also dress this down with a sneaker and throw like a, a bomber style denim jacket over the top for too sure. for kind of running around. This is one where I think you can mix it with black. Like you could do a black strappy sandal with this if you want. I think that would make it look a little bit more like a gala where this white is just kind of fresh and fun too. Mm -hmm. Or you could do a pattern. You could certainly pull in like a leopard shoe or something. That's a good idea. The white yeah. is unexpected though. The white is unexpected. And I do love how it's like you're kind of like contrasting the whole thing. The texture itself looks cozy and warm along yeah. with like the mock turtleneck. But then like the, the cut up the leg mm -hmm. seems like you're out to have a good time and go party a little bit. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're always out for a good time. That is the truth of the matter. <laughs> Jesse, you look great. Thank yeah, you so job. much. Thanks to all of our models. Great job, Amy. Thank you. Brown is the new black. Brown's look new at black. If you are in need of a fall or a winter refresh, you can maximize your investment. Book a closet edit and personal mm. shopping package with Amy. She will give you some truth talk that you didn't even know you needed in the kindest way, let in me say. In the kindest way. I know. And speaking way. of truth talk, be sure to check out her new podcast. It's called A Common Thread. It's available everywhere you get all of your normal podcasts. So check it out, please. All right, we're going to be right back right after this.